In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your signature on any document. All you need is your camera to take a picture of the document or download the document from the internet or get the document from your email. Like let's say if somebody's sending you a contract that they want you to sign. Instead of printing it out on a printer, signing it, and then scanning it and sending it out, all you need to do is sign your name on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, get it onto your computer, whether you can open up your phone from which you took the picture of it, send it in an email to yourself, then open it on your computer with your email and download it. Once you have it downloaded, open it up in a Photoshop or any kind of paint program that you may have you're going to need advanced features for this the basic paint from a windows or a standard um, operating system usually doesn't work because you don't have the option for the magic wand to isolate certain colors and you're going to need this feature in order to do this now once you have your contract and your signature picture I want you to open them up. Once you got them open, what you're going to want to do is isolate your signature from the background. So what you do is you'll open up your um, picture that you have the signature on. You want to isolate it from the rest of the colors because when you go to use the magic wand, it's going to want to capture the dark areas up in the background. So you want to go ahead and crop it to just... So you have two different colors right there, distinctive colors. And go ahead and um, copy it. Or actually hit it with the magic wand to isolate that color from the background. And then copy that. And then you're going to have to create it, paste it onto a new image. with a transparent background. So you paste it as a new image. Now, once you got that, the checkered area right there in the background means transparency. There's nothing there. The computer doesn't see anything there except for the signature. So you copy that and go ahead and paste as transparent selection. So nothing else comes across, just your signature or whatever signature you're trying to use. Once you get that, you're going to have to obviously resize it. In this case, I'm going to do it 25% and lock the aspect ratio so the size of the signature doesn't change. The um, So it's still got the same shape, and um, that's a, still a little too big, so I'm going to go ahead and resize it a little bit smaller. That's too small. I'm going to have to go ahead and redo that again. I think 75% should work. That should be just right. And lock the aspect ratio so it stays the same. And you're done. It's a little off. You can angle it to the right, rotate it. I've done this, but I didn't show it. And then um, I just copied this and pasted it on the other line right there. And you can see that um, it's it's straighter now. It's not at such an angle, and um, it fits perfectly on the line. So you can tweak with it if you'd like, or, I mean, honestly, if I was going to send this out, the first, the first one would have worked. Um, you, don't, you don't have to uh, get it perfect. It's just got to be your signature, like right there. I straightened it out so it would fit on the line, but I didn't show that. And there you go. You're done. Now you, all you do is save that. Once you save the file and get it onto your computer, um, you can send it out. Send it in an email as an attachment. And you want to name it something simple so you know what it, where it is. You know, just remember where you saved it so you can call it up when it's time to send it through your email or however you're going to send it. Now, if you wanted to print this out now and send it, you actually could if you did have a printer. But this is a good way to do this without having to use a printer and to do all that, uh, all that, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, unnecessary stuff. 
I mean, it can all be done this way, but then again, I enjoy doing things like this. So it's not, um, it's not a pain to me. This is easy stuff. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you like and subscribe. And um, I'll be doing some more videos here pretty soon. And I hope you appreciate it. My channel is kind of variety, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. More of a pizza channel. Pizza this, a pizza that. And uh, thank you for your time. You have a great day.